Hey guys, I'm Nick, aka the winner of Nick's Games. Today, I'm gonna be teaching you guys how you can set up Optifine and run Minecraft 1.8.3 fast with no lag. Uh, as you can see, we've got the Minecraft launcher up and running here. That's basically where we want to start. And uh, just go ahead and run Minecraft, right? Just play 1.8.3-Optifine. Yes, this tutorial does use Optifine, but don't worry. It's extremely easy to install, and I've got a video that's on your screen right now that you can click if you have annotations enabled uh, that will take you up and show you how to install it. If you don't and you're on mobile, don't worry about it. There's a link in the description of the video. And if you uh, want to see exactly how hard it is to set up, it's not hard at all as far as like getting all of the settings in Optifine right you can watch this video and that video is linked at the end of this one so there's a few ways that you can uh, get to where you're wanting to go to install Optifine however if Optifine's already installed let's go ahead and jump on into this but first off let's go ahead and hit play because that's a pretty important thing to do I mean you know it's kind of the most important thing when Minecraft is opened up here and we get to the main menu I'm gonna show you guys a little trick that doesn't actually use Optifine and uh, that is right clicking on the start menu for me it's at the top for you it could be at the bottom wherever it is this right here click on it or right click on it right and then click start task manager so right click start task manager and it will open this up maybe this right here right click on processes at the top and then you want to sort by memory to where the stuff at the top is the uh, most important stuff right the, the stuff that is using the most resources on your computer memory wise because minecraft uses a lot a lot, 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 lot of memory so once we've got this open here we've got for me adobe premiere right here this uh, this is an editing software i can't close out of that but i probably should if minecraft's going to lag Next, we've got Java W. We want to keep this one open. This right here, you don't want to close out of it. Anything that says system, ignore that. OBS is what I'm using to record. Again, if I wanted to use Optifine like or run Minecraft with no lag, then boom, I would want to close out of that. Now, to close out of something, you want to right-click on it and end process. Something that every single one of you that watches this video can close out of is this second Java W.exe here. It is using 200,000 kilobytes of memory right it's quite a bit especially if you don't have a lot of memory I have 16 gigabytes so it's not gonna kill me but for some of you that's quite a bit that's almost you know that's uh, a quarter of a gigabyte right there so what we're gonna do is right click on this second Java W the first one is this it's Minecraft right what we just opened the second one I don't know why it exists it's pointless it's just using extra RAM that we don't need so let's go ahead and right click on that in process boom that'll uh, that'll come up we're good in process Nothing changes. Minecraft still runs fine. Everything's good. It's literally pointless, but for some reason, Minecraft feels like it needs to open. There are also some other things we can cl close out of here. For example, Razor Synapses we can close out of. Chrome we can close out of. I don't need to do that, but make sure that you go down through here. Only close out of things that you're for sure you know what they are. For example, Chrome is the web browser, Google Chrome. And, uh, for example, Razor Synapses here is like for my mouse and keyboard to have extra functions that they don't have by default. So, if you don't need any of those, go down through here and close out of them for example right now Photoshop server we don't need that so we can end that process bada bing bada boom good to go nevertheless let's go ahead and uh, jump on into the Optifine part of this tutorial this right here alone going through and closing out of some of this stuff that's using a lot of RAM and, and memory and stuff will really help you a lot but that's not going to do uh, the the entire thing so let's go ahead and uh, get into Minecraft here, go into options, and then go into video options. Once we're in here, I'm going to optimize this for the worst computer ever, like in existence today. That's what I'm going to try to get this to run on. Now, it's not obviously going to happen, but if your computer is pretty bad, this might work for you. That's what I'm going to be setting this up for, right? For example, though, if you don't want these, I mean, Minecraft's not going to look too good after we're done with that, if that makes sense. You're going to be able to play, but it's not going to look pretty. You can come back and change and temper with these settings on your own, but using this as a benchmark is a good place to start, in my opinion, if you want to run Minecraft up very, very fast. So let's go ahead and we want to turn the graphics on to fast. We want to turn the render distance all the way down to tiny. Again, running it on a terrible computer here. Maximum lighting. We don't want that. We want that to be off. And we want that to be off as well. Frame rate, it really depends on what you're looking for, right? No limit 
is what I do, which is unlimited, and that's what I would recommend. However, if even after this is all said and done, you're still having frame rate issues, I would recommend turning it down to probably 60, maybe even 30. I wouldn't go below 30, though, because that's going to be kind of crazy, but limited at 30 FPS and see if that helps you. However, for the sake of this tutorial, we're leaving it unlimited. Again, smooth lighting level is all the way off. View bobbing, that's personal preference. It really has zero performance. Like, it doesn't matter, right? I prefer view bobbing off. If you prefer it on, turn it on. GUI scale, if you want to go crazy about it, you can turn it all the way down to small here. This will, you know, there's less rendering on the screen, so it will make Minecraft run faster. However, I'm not going to do a tutorial like this. Let's go ahead and turn this back up to large. That way you guys can see here. Use VBOs. This is actually going to help performance in Minecraft, so we want to go ahead and turn that on. Brightness. Brightness has no effect on performance. You can turn that off. Alternate blocks needs to be turned off. Fog needs to be on off as well. Fog start doesn't matter. We just turned off fog. 3D and, and, and a glyphery. You don't want to turn 3D and a glyph on because that is interesting. <laughs> that will really change your game, so don't even touch that. Going into quality here, minimap doesn't really matter. You can turn it all the way down, but it's not going to have an effect unless you have a minimap installed. Anthroscopic filtering is going to uh, really lag your computer, so keep that turned off. Come on, turn it off. Turn it off. Am I Optify? Optify? What are you doing? I want it to be off. There we go. Anti-aliasing. That is also going to really mess things up. I mean, it's going to really lag you, so don't do that. Clear water needs to be off. Random mobs needs to be off. Better grass off. Better snow off. Custom fonts off. Basically, everything here needs to be off. And uh, if it's not on off, it needs to be fast. But everything here is on off. There's that. We can go ahead and click done. We've done quality. Check. Let's go ahead and move on down to details here. Clouds, we want those to be on fast. We want trees to be on fast. Cloud height, turning clouds off does help. Snow and rain need to be on fast. I think you might be able to turn snow and rain off. I personally love, like, weather, so I'm going to leave that on. However, for you, turning it off might be the best bet if you want to, say, really reduce lag. Sky, turning it off is going to be faster. It's going to look a little weird, but it's going to be faster. Stars need to be off. Sun and moon need to be off. Capes need to be off. Everything needs to be off or on fast. Tool tip, this really isn't going to affect performance, so we'll leave that on. Dropped items need to be fast. Entity shadows need to be off. Entity shadows alone uses a lot of resources. Once that's done, we can go ahead and move on to performance. And now this is where things get a little bit, well, different. So, fast math right here. This is one that can make things faster, but can also make it worse. The reason is because it utilizes your CPU more. It moves stuff off of your RAM and onto your CPU. Now, if you have a good CPU, that's fine. However, it might lag you even more. So, if after this, you're still having lag issues, come back and turn math, fast math on. I've got a really good CPU, so for me, it's going to be on. Smooth World, that is going to stabilize APS. And honestly, I would recommend doing that if you've had lag issues because lag is caused by fluctuating FPS. Stabilizing it is good. Load far most definitely needs to be off because that tiny render distance we chose means nothing if load far is on. So we want to keep that off. Preloaded Chunks. What this will do is kind of make FPS spikes happen, so you'll have more lag. However, if you're staying in one area all the time, for example, you're not going to be having any issues. If you're building, for example, you might want to turn preloaded chunks on. However, with uh, if you're not building, right, if you're exploring or something, you want to leave it off because it's going to cause lag. In that case, we're going to leave it off just for general rule of thumb there. For this, we want to leave it on 1 because it's how worlds load, right? So we're going to have slower world loading, so that means on startup, it's going to take a longer time to load. But once you're in, right, it's going to have higher FPS. If you want, obviously, better performance and things to be faster, you can turn this up all the way and be good to go. But for this, we're going to be losing 1. Dynamic updates, we're going to go ahead and turn that on. That means you're going to update more and more chunks are going to load when you're standing still than when you're moving. That's always good. Fast rendering, this is something that can really cause some weird issues for some people, and for some people it doesn't. For me, it does. So I'm going to turn it off, but for you it might not. And basically what this is doing is taking some rendering of like, you know, the like distance and stuff, and taking it from your CPU to your GPU. Now for me, that causes texture flickering. And if you notice texture flickering, as it actually says here, you can turn it off if you notice texture fl flickering. Come and turn it off, right? There's like random flicks on your screen, like flashes. You want to turn that off, so I'm turning it off. But for you, it might work perfectly. And if it does work for you, I would recommend it because it's going to reduce some lag. 
lazy chunk loading needs to probably be turned on and this is actually going to matter only going to matter on servers so if you're playing single player it's not gonna matter but for lazy chunk loading you want to turn it on and that's gonna basically make things smoother on a server and it's going to chunk load better just because it's chunk loading on the server is different from in single player and the fact that the server also loads the chunks so it can make it easier if you turn on smoother lazier chunk loading and then that's how that works anyway let's go ahead and go done with that that is performance i believe that we just checked off there yes on to animations this one's really easy guys i won't be talking a lot here all we want to do is see this all off button yeah click that done boom going into other here lagometer i don't like the lagometer but uh basically what this does is in f3 it'll show you how your lag is I'm not going to touch that. Debug profile, don't worry about that. Weather, you want to turn that off if you are really, 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 like, wanting to stop lag. I like weather, but for the sake of this tutorial, we'll turn it off. For time, you can change it to day only, night only. Obviously, this will reduce some lag, but the fact of the matter is... I like the day-night cycle. It kind of defeats the purpose of Minecraft for me if I turn that on, so I'm going to leave that default. Um, full screen mode... I wouldn't recommend touching this. The bigger your Minecraft version is, the more lag you could possibly have. So we're not going to do that. And for auto-saving, right, normally it's two seconds. Every two seconds Minecraft saves. So that means if you die or your game crashes, you'll lose two seconds of what you've been doing. That's crazy and will cause tons of lag. Now, you can change it to 20 seconds, 3 minutes, or 30 minutes. If you want less lag, 30 minutes is what you're wanting to go for. But keep in mind, keep in mind that your game will only save once every 30 minutes. Your laptop dies, or your power goes out, or Minecraft crashes. You could lose up to 30 minutes of work in game, so do that at your own risk. For us, I think just to keep it safe, we're going to do 3 minutes. Just to keep it safe. I can deal with losing 3 minutes of work in Minecraft. I can't deal with losing 30. So there you guys have it. Click done. Click done. Turn off any resource packs. Resource packs cause tons of lag. I know they make the game look better, but it causes lag. And if you don't want any lag, you can't use resource packs. So let's go ahead and as you can see, default is selected. Click done. Click done. And launch into whatever world you want. For this, I'm just going to launch into my creative world. Uh, because an amplified world is going to have more lag. And this is just a normal world here. So as you can see, it loaded almost instantly for me. Now, I've got a really good computer, and uh, we're getting about 200, 300 FPS. I could get more if I turned off the FPS stabilization, because it's stabilizing my FPS around 250. It's not letting it go any higher. I can get upwards of 1,000 FPS if I turn off all of the FPS stabilizations. Probably even more. I might be able to hit about 5,000 right now. But for most people, you won't be able to get those numbers. What you're looking for is if you can play, you can play Minecraft anywhere between 25 to 30 FPS on minimum. Some people can get by with 20, but that does, I cannot. You might be able to, but if you can't get more than 20 FPS, probably not going to be able to play Minecraft. I mean, that's just the sad part about it. But um, if you can get at least 20 FPS, there you go. And to see this screen, F3 on your keyboard is how you see that. The function key, F, and then there's a 3 next to it. Click that, and you'll be able to see right up here in the top right-hand corner, right up there, you can see the frames per second you're getting. And uh, the higher FPS you get, the uh, faster Minecraft's going to run. And as you can see, we're getting literally zero lag here. Uh, we can actually even turn it all the way up on render distance here to like 32 sure it'll take it a second to load the chunks but after that we'll be able to log in and be good to go so back to game give it a second to load and as you can see our fps is still over well over 100 uh dropping down there yep see still over 195 we're still good though so that's just me having a good computer for you. You won't be able to do that. But anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. It really helps me out to make awesome Minecraft tutorials every single day of the week. I'm Nick's Games. Thanks for watching, and I'm out, guys. Peace. And here's some videos you guys might want to go check out. Down that way, as promised, we've got how to install Optifine in Minecraft 1.8.3. If you want to get Optifine and, well, basically follow everything in this tutorial, go check out that video and uh, get it installed. It's really, really easy. Less than, like, a... Four minutes, I think, and you'll be good to go. And down the other way, we've got Nick's Craft episode, I believe, 25, which is an awesome Let's Play series. It's a 1.8 survival series that uh, is just fun to do, fun to play. I enjoy doing it. We built a sky village. Yes, it's an entire village in the sky. It's pretty cool. Go check it out. Anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I'm Nick's Games, and I am out, guys. Peace.